Good morning! Good morning! Are you ready for the GMA gift exchange? Couldn't be more ready. It's oh yeah. Better than actual Christmas day. <laughs> oh! It's gonna be so fun. Are you confident with your gift wraps? I think so. Yeah? I think so. I think they're, I think they're, I think it's cool. Welcome everyone to the GMA gift exchange. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this particular tradition within uh, me and Ben's world, when we were in high school, me and him and our two best friends would all exchange gifts with each other with one particular twist, which was that you're supposed to wrap the gifts in the most difficult way possible. And we haven't done it in several years since, you know, we've all been adults and stuff, but we're bringing it back this year with all the same challenges. So, today, I'm gonna wrap their gifts. I notice I have this big plastic tub. That's gonna be the container that goes for it. So, traditionally, you have to get three gifts, one for each person, and then you wrap each of them uh, differently, which means to come up with three different ways to do it. But I'm not gonna do that this year. Instead, I got all three of them this exact hatchet. And what I'm going to do is wrap all of them the exact same way in one giant block of ice, which is where this thing comes in. All right, so as you can see, uh, this is not totally full of water. That is because I have several steps to do this process. One, obviously if I fill the whole thing, then I have to wait for the whole giant container to freeze at once, which I feel like could take quite some time. So instead I'm just gonna do it layer by layer, which also offers up two other opportunities. One, once this layer freezes, I can put a hatchet in there and then cover that hatchet with water so that it will be uh, completely surrounded by the ice and will be like sticking out the bottom or something. And as an extra bit of fun, I'm also going to be uh, adding food coloring to each new layer of water. So at the end we have like a big rainbow popsicle. Bottom layer is gonna be red, but as you can see, we don't have a lot of red food coloring. So we'll just see how, I know you don't need a lot for it to go very far. Ooh, there it goes. I love the effect, but I don't think we have enough. Oh no. I'm gonna suck some back in and then squirt it all back out. All right. Layer one is about to go in the freezer. Clear a spot for it. Boom. The chest freezer is the other big advantage we have this time around because people have tried ice before, but no one has ever succeeded with ice because it normally just takes so long and people do not have access to freezers big enough to do it. Uh, but this time we do. So we're gonna, we're gonna be adding to this all week. Okay, so up first is John and the uh, poured kind of acrylic two-part resin pyramid. So I have my mold right there and I wanted to make sure that the key wasn't going to like sink while it was setting. So I atta attached it to a piece of fishing line and then sort of hung it so it'll just stay in place throughout the whole process. Here is his lock and a backup key just in case the acrylic ruins the first one because that would really be a bummer. Uh, but otherwise, this is hopefully going to work. It's two-part acrylic, so when you pour the two together, they will harden over a little bit of time, and then there's a silicone mold inside of that guy there. So here we go. Okay, so it's been like, how many days has it been? Five? Four or five. Okay, we're gonna try to unbox the pyramid. <gasps> oh my gosh. Anna, oh, that's, oh. That's the mold. I was like, that came out. Oh, it might have come out awesome. <gasps> oh, crap, that is incredible. How sweet is that? That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, look, you can see the, can you see the JJ in there? Yep. Oh my gosh, here, so let me show you this though. So, there's John's lock. So that key, this lock. That's amazing. That is really I'm impressed. cool. This is better than I thought it was gonna be. Same. Morning after, you can see we have our nice first layer of red ice down there. I'm not sure what happened with this weird bubble over here. It was just sitting flat, so I don't know what that was, but whatever. Here's the problem though, right there, you can already see it on my finger, is that when we put the next layer on top of it, 
I'm concerned that it will immediately start melting the layer beneath, which wouldn't be an issue if all we were doing was trying to freeze this whole bucket, but of course it's dyed, so I'm afraid the color is going to immediately start leaking up above. So, can you hear the twins? Guys. Nice. I think what I'm going to try and do is make a second layer, or put the water in here, dye that yellow, and put a bunch of ice in it so it's really cold, and then transfer it and put it in the freezer immediately so there's as little crossover as possible. We can play with some water later, but right now, for Daddy's project, we're just doing yellow. <laughs> Luke wants to make pink water, but we're only at the yellow stage. Luke, it's okay, bud. Here we go. Now we gotta go fast. Today we're going to be tackling Jay's wrapping, which is supposed to be poured concrete. Uh, but in trying to keep with my theme and size of geometric shapes, I'm actually having to make a form for the concrete right now, which I'm going to be cutting out of. Uh, just a sheet of melamine. Uh, I, I don't do this often, but I'm pretty excited to give it a whirl. And with no cutoff fingers later, this is roughly what we're looking at. So we've got like a nice smooth surface in there so that the concrete won't stick to it so that when I take the form apart, uh, it should just come clean and be like a nice smooth surface on the inside, which I think will look really cool. I had to take a refresher in my uh, my knots course, but these guys are pretty dang taut. So there's that, it's not moving. And then fill the inside with gaff tape. It's gonna make it a little bit wonky on the pull because you're gonna see those tape lines, but I think ultimately it will be worth it. Oh, well, it looks like this stuff kind of came. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Like it's got like a uh, uh yeah. shoot. So less less good than upstairs, but not terrible. I feel like it's pretty oh solid. Pretty solid. We've got the green ready to go, and this time we're going to also add in the first hatchet, which as you can see, I've also wrapped uh tightly in this ziploc bag so that it doesn't get uh one dyed or two uh i don't want like water getting into any of the screws on the hatchet which are kind of in there and like ruining it before it becomes a gift so here we go first hatchet going in okay the green looks pretty good but check this out you can see around the edge where it has like remained clear and like there's like a line where it's like a green square inside of a clear square. I have no idea what accounts for that. I feel like I'm learning, I'm not learning much about ice because I don't know why it's happening, but I am viewing, having many observations about ice. Here goes the blue. Oh, 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 oh. It's like floating up. Oh no. It's like sinking to the bottom. Oh, no. It's like going around the edges. This is a new problem. Just put it in and get it in the freezer okay. quick. Okay. We need like a we need like a weight. I feel like it's too late. It's going to have died everything. Put it in the freezer fast. Good morning! Good morning! Are you ready for the GMA gift exchange? Couldn't be more ready. It's oh yeah. Better than actual Christmas day. So excited. Yes, I'm ready. Yeah. I've been ready. We uh, are assembling. Yeah. We have, um, I'm, it's gonna be interesting to see if you guys can figure okay. it out because we have to have a whole book of um, codes. Oh goodness. So, so you've got like puzzle. We have puzzle. I think it's more of a thinker, but it's like a group thinker. Oh. So you're gonna need to utilize each other. Okay. In order to solve it. So you do like a group wrap? 
Yes. Okay, so did I, actually. Oh. Yeah, so. It's a lot easier. <laughs> it's a lot easier than a messy mix of things and... Well, I'm not saying mine's not messy, I'm just... <laughs> I wanted to be sure that there was enough room for the excavator to be able to su successfully get into your backyard. I've actually uh -huh. been planning it for months. Right. Coming out every, you know, every evening after you guys go to bed, digging smaller holes, covering it with sod. Mm. So everything's buried back here. It's actually really tricky to get you to agree to do it here. It's kind of like an escape room. Oh, fun. Yeah. Yes. All right. A portable escape room. Whose are you the most nervous about? Well, John's. Oh, mine? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm excited to, to spend the day with my dear friends as much as put them through like, a little bit of turmoil. So, the festivities are about to begin. John just walked around the corner. What do you got? We got, these are them. This is it? And there's no uh, explanations. <clears throat> oh. You guys have to figure out how to open it. Ooh. So this is me? Oh, boy. Oh, is it alcohol? <laughs> no. It's only like phase one, but so this is, mine are all vodka, this is all whiskey, and that's all tequila. And we're having to figure out what the price, what they each cost based on how they taste. Which, I should tell you, I never drink vodka ever, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, really, I really have very little to go on. It's also 11.30. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming there's some sort of like letter to number oh. um, you can tell which correlation. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, we got it! It's <laughs> a brick. Did you wrap a brick? We got some concrete bricks. One of these does not have a clue in it, just to make it more fun. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Oh. Oh god. So grab this gift before it gets sent to Santa. Ooh, is that coordinates? Those are the coordinates. There you go. Ooh. Very nice. I thought about doing this exact gift. Squeeze water filtration system, so I think you just stick it, what, right on the end of your water bottle? And you squeeze water through and it filters it, so it's clean. We do. So you all have locks. Unfortunately, I wasn't nice enough to label whose was whose lock. But I know which one is whose, so. Okay. So that helps. Yeah. So, and then on top of here are clues. So, you have one clue for each of you. After the first clue, you go on to the second one, and each clue will deter determine what number is the combination. So Mike has tied a bunch of knots in these strings that we need to untie because apparently there's numbers inside the knots, but he also covered them in Crisco, and that's making it really difficult to do. And I would say several minutes in, no one's even gotten a single knot untied. <laughs> and to say there's less than about 50 would be <laughs> inaccurate. <laughs> So tell me about the knots. So the knots were all a big ruse. Uh, <laughs> it was just a number of strings. How many knots did you get undone? Oh, well, only like three. <laughs> only, <laughs> only three. Yeah. And they Different all said numbers. Three. No, they all said three. So. so the next clue is just says find the biggest number, and then there's this picture of a uh, ton of cans. <laughs> What is it? Awesome. Ooh, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, that looks like it worked. Oh, that's cool. There you go. I love the color. Did, yeah. it, did this fit your freezer or is this just from the chest? Yeah, we got a chest. Oh. Oh. Maybe so. now we can make some kindling and actually have a fire. I know, right? Yeah, look at this fire. Why <laughs> do we do this first, John? <laughs> Frozen! <laughs> it's so cold. Uh, <laughs> I bet it's, it's so cold. cold. I bet it's so cold. Open that. Go ahead and open that. Whew. 
Oh, you got a rubber band ball. Beautiful. I hate this. It is so nice. Yours is so much worse. I hate it. I'm never gonna log. Okay. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna. Open. If you can convince everybody to take a tequila shot, myself included, which I have shot glasses, yeah. then <laughs> I have to. Broke the key. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Nobody, there is, there is nobody who believes.